All right, I'm looking at the strands. This is the word search game. It's going to have a theme word that crosses the grid in some direction. And today's theme is fine print. Um, maybe like a signature or something. Um, I see sig. Ooh, almost, we almost have signature. Sig. No, we can do sign though. Sign, like sign language or something. I don't know, but that's what we're going with. I see slept. Um, I see... Hmm, what else do we have in here? It's interesting that sign is in here. Sing is also in here, but... And I see start and star and rats and lots of things. So fine print, what would that be? It's like small, small letters, small, we almost have small, not quite. You could also go fine print, meaning like something, you know, fine could be small, it could also mean um, like well done, it could be something that's good, so we could have like, you know, calligraphy or something like that. I don't see that on here, but... Ah, I see stripes down here. Ah, could it be different, like, animal prints or just like patterns of fabric or something? Pattern. Patterns, look at this. Patterns, that's going to be the spangram. That's what it is. It's patterns. So we've got stripes. We've got argyle. Argyle. We've got chevron. Chevron. Okay, so it's just different patterns. Uh, Paisley? Paisley, which I believe is L-E-Y. Uh, there's two more. I don't actually know what this is. I mean, it seems like I and G should go together. Which means you probably need to get the T-I-N-G or... Something like ranting or reading. <laughs> and then I don't know what's going on over here. It's got to start or end with... Well, not necessarily, but probably start or end with the M. Oh, it's it's a uh, gingham. I don't actually know how to pronounce that. Gingham, ging, ging, um, mm, yep, yep. I do know that. Uh, and then tartan, tartan, okay. I had heard of both of them. Uh, I couldn't really tell you too much about them other than that those are patterns that I've seen the words somewhere before. Um, yeah, but getting the two of them disambiguated up there was a little tricky. And it wasn't, it wasn't actually, well, it was kind of an, let me go back to that. It was kind of an ing, but I was thinking one of the words was going to end in ing, which would have had to go with this g. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, there was a little bit of trouble there today, but otherwise not too bad once I figured out what the theme was. So anyways, let me know how this one went for you and what your favorite pattern of the ones in the grid is today. Or if you have a different favorite pattern that wasn't in here that you think they should have included, let me know about that too. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more.